Hello, it's Darren from Moonhead Studio here, and I'm just uh, following up on a comment that I got on one of my very early uh, Living with the QCOM Pro X videos um, from Red Bunker. He says, uh, I noticed on the panel there is the motors button. Can't understand what it does. Any help? Thanks again. Yep, sure. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> So when you boot up your QCon, you'll notice that the motors button is lit up and that's the default value. It simply means that the motorized faders are working. So they'll pick up any movements that you've made in your mix using automation. If you click that button once, then it turns the faders off. So they will still work, but they're just passive faders and they won't pick up any of the automation that you've got programmed in. So what reason could you have for actually turning the faders off anyway? I mean, that's the reason of having a motorized desk is that you've got motorized faders moving along with all of the movements. Well, there are a couple of reasons and I'll go into those in a minute, but let's just look at the functionality here. Um, if I click on shift right, we'll turn on all of the rights on the uh, various channels in Cubase and then We'll just do a few moves, so we'll just press play and move through a few of the faders. Let's have a look on the mixer. See there. I'll stop that and uh, I'll just click the right off. Now let's go back and play that and you'll see that the faders are mimicking exactly what's happening on the screen. If I turn the motors off, we go back faders on the screen are going but these are staying still it should be said that regardless of whether the faders on your QCon are turned on or off with that motor button the automation will still work in your door so you'll still have the same mix it's just that you won't see it replicated in the fader panel here well one could be that you're going to listen back to your mix and I always mix um, at a fairly low volume. I think that's quite healthy actually to, to mix at low volume and, and maybe put it up at the end of a mix towards the end of a mix. But then you're going to hear the noise of those faders moving around and that could be a little bit distracting if you're at a low volume. I won't make any difference whatsoever when you're, at, you know, sort of a decent volume through your monitors or if you've got headphones on, but that might be a good reason. So I mean, if we go back to the left there and we set it running and you can see the fades moving, but as soon as I turn motors off, that's static, no problems. And they're not incredibly noisy, but there is obviously some mechanical sound there. Another reason might be that you want to record uh, an acoustic instrument. So say I wanted to um, have a little bash away on my tongue drum and record that. I might not want the sound of faders moving around if I've already got automation programmed in again. So that would be a use for you know turning off the, the motorized faders. So one other thing that I can think of that I do actually turn them off on occasionally. Let's have a look at that. So say I want to EQ my bass. So I'll select the bass channel and I'll hit the edit and then I can bring up the channel strip EQ. Now I do use the channel strip EQ quite a bit. I mean, I know some of you will probably be using third party EQ plugins and that's that's fine. I mean, I do use them as well. But with the channel strip, you've got full control straight from your front panels here. So if you press the EQ button over here, you now have control over your EQ. So I can um, I can turn on uh, band three and then I've got my Q controls. I can sweep it around and I, I can EQ using those. But actually, I very rarely use the pots for EQ control. I usually flip it and you've got a button just here and it allows you to use the faders instead and I just find that a bit more intuitive for when I'm sweeping around um, you know that that I find a much easier control to use so that's fine but of course the faders do make a bit of a jump when they go from um, normal pan mode and mixer mode uh, to your EQ and also if you happen to be going up and down your instrument list you could find that you keep 
having these faders jumping around and, and again it might just be a little bit irritating so again you could turn the motors off and then you can step up and down and you can just use the faders that you want so I'm always really happy to get a thumbs up if you found the video useful and there might have been a few little tips in there as well uh, other than the motor button that you may not have known about um, you don't have to subscribe to this channel I don't ask that of people but if you want to then feel free and hopefully I'll see you on the next one